folks we're now in our next video on statistics and in this video we're going to continue what we have talked about in analysis of variance or ANOVA here we're going to apply the one-way analysis of variance or ANOVA using the statistical analysis or statistical um, software okay the software the software um, Jamovi and we're going to show how to apply that in step-by-step -step manner and then until we reach the post hoc test in which we're going to make use of the 2k Q or the 2k Kramer um, test so let's have this as an example. A researcher wishes to try three different techniques to lower blood pressure of individuals diagnosed with high blood pressure. The subjects are randomly assigned to three groups. The first group takes medication, the second group takes um, or exercises, and the third group follows a special diet. After four weeks, the reduction in each person's blood pressure is recorded. At 0.05 level of significance, test the claim that there is no difference among the means. The data are shown below. So for the medication, these are the five people that, that took the medication and then after four weeks, the reduction in their blood pressure was was, was um, recorded. So these are the reductions. For the ones who have who had exercise, so these are the reductions in their blood pressures. And then for those who have had this special diet, so these are the reductions in their blood pressure. So we want to show, um, if we, we want to test the claim that there's no significant difference among the three, um, the three um, procedures or the three interventions in order to lower the blood pressure. In 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 which, um, in other words, we're telling that there's no difference. Okay, there's no significant difference between medication, exercise, and diet. So we're going to make use of the Jamovi here, and um, first we need to um, take note that Jamovi is making use when we input data in Jamovi, we're looking at it as in you know fresh from the from the survey or or as a raw data. So we're going to treat each number here, each row here, as a respondent. So if that's the case, we cannot put it in this manner because um, here each row represents three different um, respondents. So for here, um, this 10 in medication is a different um, person. These exercises, the six in exercises is a different person. This five in diet is a different person. So meaning we need to to change this. Um, actually, this given is already presented in a tabular form, so it's it makes it for it makes it it's make it makes it easy for the reader to understand it. But for um, Jamovi, it it doesn't really uh, help that much. So for A, we need to first um, know the grouping. Uh, we'll call variable A to be the the type of group that they have. It's either gonna be medication, exercise, or diet. And we will call variable B to be their blood the, the reduction in their blood pressure. So let's just, just call it blood pressure. And then we can delete C because we don't need that anymore. So, or you can leave it B. Me, I want to delete that because uh, we don't need it. So delete, okay. And then what we need to do is we're going to group them. So we have the med group. We'll just call it med for medication. And we'll call EXE for exercise. Let's we'll start here with six EXE. And then for 11, we have diet. So for the blood pressure, we're going to have the first um, group to have blood pressures. And there, there, there are five of them. So we're going to put them in numbers one to five. So we have 10, 12, 9, 15, and 13. For the next five, we have the exercise. So we're going to put exercise from 6 to 10. So we have 6, 8, 3, 0, and 2. So for the 11 to 15, we have the people or the respondents who have had this special diet. So we have a record 5, 9, 12, 8, and 4. So let's check if that's correct. Medication 10, 12, 9, 15, 13, that's correct. For the exercise, 6, 8, 3, 0, 2, that's correct. For the diet, we have 5, 9, 12, 8, and 4. Now we want to check if there's a significant difference between them at 0 0.05 alpha level. So you can see now from the data tab, actually it's already there, um, from the data, data to analysis tab rather, in the analysis tab, you can see it, it's open. You can see here very clearly, clear as day, that you can see the word ANOVA there. So again, just to differentiate it with t-tests, t-tests only differentiate between two means, or exactly two means. For ANOVA, it can differentiate more than uh, two means, that is three or more. So we'll click this ANOVA, and we want to only use the one-way ANOVA. Okay, one-way ANOVA. So let's click on that, and it will lead us to this box here. Uh, the, the, this will... Um, tell these these um, commands here will tell Jamovi what to do 
Okay, so we want to put first our dependent variables and our grouping variables. We know our group to be the grouping variables as it is, and our blood pressure to be the independent variables. Anyways, it's in nominal, so let me go back. This should be, no, that should be not nominal. It should be continuous. I forgot to mention that. Sorry. Okay, let's go back here. And then what you will have is this. Okay, so the blood pressure, and you group it via medication, exercise, and diet. So this is what you'll end up with. Okay, using one way ANOVA. But, um, of course, uh, please, we're going not, we do not want to assume that the um, the the we don't assume that the variances are 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 equal, but we assume them to be equal. So we are going to make use of the F test or the Fisher's test, not the Welsh test. So in making use of the Fisher's test, what will end up is 0 0.004 for the p-value. Um, if you want, you can put up some additional statistics. Uh, if you want, we can put the descriptive table, the plots. Um, other checks are here, but uh, let's I'll just put the the descriptive plot so that we can see the descriptives. Okay, I cannot extend anymore. So this is the these are the descriptives. You can see the one-way ANOVA, the p-value in particular. You can see that it's 0 0.004, which tells us that there is a significant difference that we do that we reject the null hypothesis, the H sub O. So meaning there is a, there is a significant difference between the, among the means. Sorry, among the means. There's a there's significant different difference among the means. So that tells us that we need to have a post hoc test. Now in ANOVA, we need to perform and we need to determine if ever there is a significant difference among the means, we need to determine where the difference lies. Okay, because we're just telling that at least one of the mean is different actually in, in ANOVA. If, if we reject the null hypothesis, we're just telling that at least one of the means is different. So which one is different? So that can be answered by the post hoc test. So since we're making use of the Fisher's test, which we assume equal variances, so we should also assume the equal variances in 2K in, in the postdoc, that is, we're going to make use of 2K. Um, there are a, a variety of postdoc tests out there, the Duncan, Shifay's, 2Ks, we can see games how well here, but 2K is the one which is preferred because um, it is said to be stronger than the others. So we have the mean difference, we want to show that, the report reported significance, we want to show that using the p-value. Um, but we also want to flag the significant comparisons. There you go. So there you go. So note that for the asterisks, if we have one asterisk only, it's significant at 0 0.05. If we have two asterisks, it is significant with 0 0.05. Likewise, it's significant with 0 0.01. If we have three asterisks, it's significant, it's, it's, uh, significant with 0 0.05, 0 0.01, and 0 0.001. So the more asterisk it has, um, the more significant it is. But 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 if it has a significant, if it has an asterisk, a single asterisk, it is therefore it is significant to 0 0.05. And since our alpha is 0 0.05, we are in particular we're in um we're in um we want specifically to have an asterisk there. At least one asterisk will do to tell us that that there's a significant difference. So how can we understand this post hoc test? We are we are actually um comparing each group so for example uh, um, medicine to versus exercise okay from here medicine versus exercise medicine versus diet and diet versus exercise if there are more groups that we need then we need to have a lot of comparisons then so it's quite tasky to do this in excel especially if you don't have the ph stat or the other you know real stats and other and other plugins um i have a video about that wherein i i i i use the the manual technique in finding the q statistic that is the third k and it's quite it's quite nasty to do um you you may you may have some some problems some carelessness in in, in the middle but here in in the movie what you'll need what you'll need to do is just click on this 2k and then you'll have the postdoc test in a magic so we can see um that here, what we're going to look at are the intersections. So we have medicine and medicine. Of course, that's blank because we cannot compare one group to itself. So medicine versus, versus exercise, we can see that there's two asterisks out there. And the p-value is 0 0.03. That is less than 0 0.05. Okay, or rather 0 0.003. So meaning that this is significant. Okay, that this is, um, sig there's a significant difference between the medication and the exercise um, reduction in blood pressure, um, meaning we reject the HO here. 
Okay, for the medication, if we're going to compare medication with diet, um, there's no asterisk. The p value is 0 0.103, which is greater than 0 0.05. Therefore, we do not reject the null. We fail to reject the null. That is, there's no significant difference between the medicine and the diet group. And also for the exercise and for the diet, um, there's no asterisk. And you can see the p values to be 0 0.147, which is greater than 0 0.05. Hence, we fail to reject the null. That is, we do not reject it. So therefore, there's no significant difference. So there's only a, a difference that that um that exists here in this medicine versus exercise, okay, and that is where this the the significance lies the 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 significant difference that there is a, a significant difference between the medication and the exercise reduction in blood pressure. So what is the implication of this to us? So meaning if you're um if you want to, for example you're an individual say that you want to reduce your blood pressure and you're given um options. Um, between medication and exercise, so you would you would um, choose, you would prefer medication because there is a significant difference between medication and exercise. You can see the medication; most of their their scores are higher, the the, the reduction in the blood pressure are higher. The exercises are are quite lower than that, and there is indeed a statistical significance or statistical statistical difference between them. So if ever you're going to ask which one is better between medication and exercise, you would prefer exercise. But when you're asked to choose medication versus diet, actually it doesn't really matter because there is no significant difference between medication and diet. So you can you can you can just either choose one of them and then still have the same the same similar, not really exactly the same, but the similar results. Likewise, with exercise and diet, if you're ever you're going to choose between the two, so you can choose either of them because they don't have a significant difference. So they will somehow give you a similar a similar result. So that's exercise versus diet. So that's how we do our analysis of variance using Jamovi. Hopefully this helps and help you understand how to use Jamovi and then software applications in making use and of statistics. So um, that's it for today. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped and um, hope you'd like hope you'd like and subscribe. So thank you very much.